Hi guys, so today I wanted to make a quick video about how you can hide uh, any out of stock products from any collections on your Shopify store. Uh, Shopify by default gives you a way to hide um, out of stock products uh, using their automated collections. Uh, I find that sometimes you might want to hide uh, products from uh, collections which aren't automated or um, you might want to hide those out of stock products from from just all of your collections. Make sure you watch until the end of the video guys if you're interested in uh, potentially winning a free consultation on your Shopify site. Uh, but without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alright guys, so here we are on my test site. You can see that I have these two products, Monkey Hugs 2.0 and Monkey Hugs, the original product. Um, and you can see that the first one is not sold out, the second one is sold out. And so what we're going to be covering in this tutorial is how you can uh, basically not display these sold out products in your collection, uh, your this collection window. Um, so to do that guys, I want you first to go to uh, your Shopify admin, the back end, go click online store and um, you can go ahead, you should probably download your theme file first just to make sure if you screw anything up, you, could, you have a backup and you can just quickly go to it. Um, you're just going to click this button, it'll email you a, a link and then you'll just download it from there. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and straight in, go into editing the code because I've done this before. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is you want to find collection-template.liquid here in your sections uh, folder in your code. If we look at this and we see that this, we, we're basically trying to get rid of this grid item here. So we can see that it's it's like this uh, li element which is like a list, ele list uh, element. Then we have these classes, grid item, grid item collection, template, medium, up one half. So we're gonna search in this for the that sort of thing. So if we if we look for, let's look for, um, uh, for instance, let's look for grid item, grid item. And then we need to peruse down here for like, somewhere where it's gonna mention the product um, so let's see if, if it mentions the product anywhere. Product. Yeah, yeah. So here, here we have this grid, grid uniform, this collections, products count is greater than zero. So this all makes sense. So we have product, and, and then here's our grid item, grid item, whatever. So for product in collections.product. So that what this is doing is it's looping over each product in the collection, and it is creating this li element for any of them. And so we're simply just going to filter this for whether a product is available or not. So we're going to go if the product dot available, then we want to do this. And with liquid, you always want to be um, closing your your uh, if tags so we can go end if here. And uh, let's save that and let's go ahead and see if that is functioning. So yeah, so this is functioning here. So you can see that now we have Monkey Hugs 2.0 and the product that isn't available is not there. So the other thing I wanna cover really quickly in this tutorial is um, how for you would do for a specific collection. Let's say you, you wanted on um, you know a certain collection you didn't wanna show out of stock items, but certain collections you did. Um, so we're gonna cover that right now. So. Let me set things up really quickly before we do that as far as my collections go. All right guys, so now I have these two collections. I have monkeys and hugs, and right now they're both only showing um, this Monkey Hugs 2.0 product because the other one is out of stock, and right now we have that coded in. All right, so let me just go ahead and delete these so you guys will see. You guys can see that basically, so, so now both of these will display uh, both Monkey Hugs products. And so let's say for monkeys, we want it to display um, both but for hugs we want it to uh, not display both so what we want to do here basically is we want to go um, we're going to tab this uh, well we'll do that after so we want to basically open up another if statement here and we go if um, uh, collection dot title does not equal hugs then we want to do this um, and then we can end this if as well make sure to do that 
and I'll have all of this code um, in in the description for you guys. And then we'll end this if. And now what this will do is it'll it'll only display products on the monkeys page. Now it should. So so monkeys it'll display the products. Hugs, no products. Right. So that's working as intended. What we need to do now is basically we want to only display uh, products if if they are or only not display them if they're unavailable on the hugs page. So and then we go and product dot um, dot available. We're going to use this again available. So I think this should be or actually or product is available. Yeah. So so now these will both display. Now we should only get one displaying here. Yeah. So yeah, so that's the video, guys. Um, so uh, if you stuck around till the end and made it to the end, good job. Um, if you guys are interested in in receiving potentially receiving a free consultation on your Shopify site, um, what I do is every week uh, I pick one of my subscribers and I'll give them a free consultation on their site. Uh, it can be a Shopify site, it can be a WordPress site. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you have to be subscribed to be eligible for that. So if that interests you, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if this video helped you guys, I would appreciate if you leave a like and a comment. It really helps with the algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the next one.